Hello, this is Craig Shoemaker, New Media Evangelist for Infragistics. And before we get started, there's just a few things I'd like to share with you. If you have any questions about this screencast, please feel free to email me at cshoemaker at infragistics.com. If you have any support questions, please go to infragistics.com slash get help. And if you'd like to check out the documentation on any one of our controls, please go over to infragistics.com slash docs. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can create custom templates within the cells using a web data grid. Now, to, uh, to show you how we're going to get started here, I've got this web page here, standard ASP.NET page. We've got a script manager on there, our web data grid, and it's linked up to the SQL data source. The only thing that's been done to the grid is that when we select the data source ID, it fills in these columns and creates the columns for us. So let's open up the smart tag, go to edit columns, and take a look at our, our dialog here. Now for the custom cell template, what I'd like to do is uh, customize what's being created for the product name. So I'll click on the product name field and I'll also click this link here, convert selected grid field to a field template. Let's click apply and then okay. Now when we drop down into the source, you can see that a normal bound field just has a little bit of markup and our template field here has all the markup needed in order to be a template. I I'm just gonna kind of take you around things a little bit. Now, what I'd like to do is, is sort of have as much control over the markup as possible. So a label is going to render as a span tag, and uh, it will have uh, a long ID um, put out by, by ASP.NET. So I, I'm going to clean this up a little bit, and I want to say, uh, let's use a placeholder. So a placeholder can have children controls, but it basically renders no markup. So now when we, once we have the placeholder, we can go and start customizing this a little bit. Really, you, you can use any type of data bound control. It doesn't have to be a placeholder. I just like it simply because, again, it, it's not going to uh, render out any extra markup. So then what I'd like to do is take this, this string here that uh, is responsible for displaying the data that's coming from the grid, and I'll just make a couple copies of it. Now let's go down here and take a look at some of the other columns that are that we've got available to us. So we have units in stock and unit price. So let's start with unit price and we'll bring this up here and we'll, we'll emit that out. And um, units in stock, we'll stick this here. Now to give it more of a custom look, what we'll do is we'll take the the, the title, the description, or the, or the product name, and wrap that within an H3 tag. So that'll give it uh, a good, good distinction from the rest of the content. And then unit price, this is raw data, and what I'd like to do is, is um, format it as currency. So we'll come in here and say string format. The currency format string uh, is zero and then a capital C and then passing in the data as an argument. String format automatically does a two string on any objects you pass into it so that should be sufficient. And so what we'll do here is we'll say price and quantity. And I'll just stick a, a line break here. So now let's take a look at the grid and see how it turns out. So here we have the, the product name and our custom information. Now we could go on further basically to take these out of the grid and, and customize it even further. But as you can see, it's, it's really easy to take a bound column and turn it into a template column. It's also easy to go back. So if we were to come back to our grid, and go into the columns editor, when we come to product name, if we wanted to remove all of the customizations we've done, we can just turn it back, convert selected template field to grid field, and now we have a bound column again, and if we were to run the page, we'll see that it's just a regular bound column. There's a lot of possibilities with the, the cell templates because as you, as you could see, I was able to bring in data from other places in the grid and really give uh, a custom look to it. So there's a lot of power in those templates and I hope you have a lot of fun using them. Thanks. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.